I've had several of you ask how I paint mountains using a credit card or a gift card. So I'm going to show you guys today. You're going to need black, white, and blue paint. Um, this is going to be a monochromatic painting. So that means that I'm just going to use one color plus black and white. You're going to need your medium flat brush, your medium and small round brush, a rag, a cup of water for cleaning your brushes off, and like a hard piece of plastic. So whether it's a gift card or um, a credit card, it's totally your choice. And that is how I painted this mural. Is with um, a credit card. So let's get started. First things first, I'm gonna give myself a light blue background just to kind of start my painting off so that I have all of my canvas covered. So I'm just gonna take some blue paint and put it on my canvas with a little bit of water and some white paint. And I'm just gonna cover my whole canvas in a light blue color. If you choose to make yours maybe like a sunset or, you know, you can edit your colors any way you want. I'm just gonna make this a light blue and I'm gonna cover my whole canvas in it. I'm just adding some water to it so that it's really thin. I'm gonna wash that brush off and dry it off, and I'm gonna lay my mountains out. So mountains, you, you don't want them to look like triangles. Instead, you want them to um, be more of like a varied triangle. So I'm going to use black paint, and I'm going to make a mountain line in my sky, just above my center of my canvas. I'm just gonna kind of pull that color down. I don't need to really clean up the bottom because I'm gonna put some trees and stuff along there. Now I'm doing this with my canvas still wet with blue because I do want some of that blue to show through. Go ahead and wash that brush off really good. Now, while that's drying, we're gonna add some clouds in our sky. And I didn't put that in the mural that this painting is based off of um, because they wanted it kind of simple. But I'm just gonna take a little bit of white paint on my brush and I'm just gonna kind of tap some dots randomly in my sky to just add some clouds. You can make them puffy clouds, add a little bit more dots up, or you can make them kind of flat clouds. It's really your choice. I'm also gonna lay out where my water is gonna go. So I am going to use this dark blue color and I am going to make kind of a jagged line that goes up towards my mountains. And everything below that, I'm gonna go ahead and paint with this really dark blue color. Again, right now my canvas is still kind of wet and I'm okay with that. I don't mind the, the blues mixing.
And then with a clean round brush, I'm gonna paint all of this space right on in here white. Again, I'm not really worried about the colors mixing. I, I like the color mixing. Don't need to go all the way up to the black, but I'm just gonna add some wavy lines in here so that you can tell there's some snow on the ground. I'm gonna let this dry for a couple minutes. And when we come back, we will add our second layer of colors. All right, the part you all have been waiting for. How do you use a credit card or a hard plastic card to make mountains? Well, first things first, I used a full size one for my mountains on the mural. So for this, I'm actually going to cut a piece of it off because I do not need a full size. I just need a piece of it. So um, I'm going to use these shorter edges because I want to have a smaller piece of hard plastic. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of lay out where my sun is going to be and where my shadow is going to be. So with a little bit of white paint on my baby brush, I'm going to find the peak of each mountain and I'm just going to make a jaggedy line down the center. And maybe I'm going to imagine that there's a, another small peak right in here. So I'm gonna put another one in there. So at the top of each of my peaks, I'm just making these jaggedy lines that go down. Everything to the right is gonna be sun. Everything to the left is going to be shadow. And they don't have to go all the way down to make it work. So now that I have those laid out, I'm going to take my credit card with mostly white paint on it, but I might put a little spot of blue and I'm talking a small little spot of blue. And I'm gonna go on the light side of my mountain and I'm going to gently, almost not touching my canvas at all, pull it down at an angle. If you have those little spaces up here, you can kind of put your card at an angle and scrub some of that on and pull it down. Now this is a process, okay? Don't think it's gonna happen magically all at once. First, it's gonna start out looking like a hot mess. But as you get your dark tones in, and after you finish up your light tones, you're gonna to see how it comes together. Kind of like magic. What happens if you add too much white? Well, if you add too much white, grab a little bit of black on there, drop some black spots in there, and pull it down again. So I'm gonna do all of my white sides first, and then we'll do our shadows.
Now, for your shadow sides, I'm gonna take some of my black, just kind of drop it randomly on my plate, wipe my card off, add some white to it. I want to have it be mixed-ish, but not too much. I'm going to scoop some of that up, and I'm going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side. So I'm not worried if the white mixes in a little bit because you do want a little bit of highlight. So I'm just going to go as close as I can and do the exact same thing. Just pull that card down. You can go both directions to kind of get some fun lines. If it's too dark, add a little bit of white to it. You can even add some blue to your shadow sides. If some of your spaces are too small, cut your card down smaller. Your goal here is that you don't have any plain black showing because over here it looks like it's significantly darker looks like a fake shadow over here because you have those lights and the darks it looks more realistic All right, let's add some details to the rest of our picture. So next thing, we are going to add in a tree line. So to do that, I'm gonna take my medium flat brush, I'm gonna pull the bristles flat so that they lay down nice and flat. Um, and I'm gonna just go in this open space here and I'm just gonna tap along here, pulling some colors up into the bottom of my mountains. I'm using a mixture of both black and white on my brush and I'm making sure that I do not need to have all of these at the same level. Wash that brush off really good. I'm gonna go in with my baby brush and some white paint, and I'm gonna add a little bit more white to my brown. Now, I still want some of that blue to show through, so I'm kind of following the curves of where maybe where my hills are gonna be that are going down to the water. Just adding a little bit of extra highlight to parts of my water. I don't have to do it to all of it. I'm 
I'm gonna take my big brush and I'm gonna do a dry brush technique, which means that I'm gonna put some white paint on my brush and kind of get most of that paint off. I want my brush to be dry. And very gently, I'm gonna pull some lines across my water. of lines that are a little bit more noticeable. I'm going to take some black paint and I'm just going to outline very gently with a ghost line. So it's a very light line and sometimes it disappears altogether, but I'm just gonna outline the edge of my water. And then with white paint, I'm just gonna add a couple of lines along the edge to kind of show where the water is bumping up into my land. And there you have it. When you're finished, be sure to sign your name. Make sure that if you do paint this picture with me that you post a picture of it on our Facebook page because I always love to see what you guys are working on. I hope you had a ton of fun learning how to use a piece of plastic to paint amazing mountains. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as become friends with us on Facebook on Painting with a Purpose. Have a great day guys. Remember, stay safe, stay kind, and stay creative. Bye friends.